Thank you, Mr. Speaker. In recent weeks, there, have been, there has been an upsurge in racially motivated and unprovoked attacks on the Muslim community. Here in Ontario, a string of suspected hate, hate crimes have taken place in the days following the horrific Paris attacks. A mosque in Peterborough was badly damaged by a fire that appears to have been set deliberately. In Kitchener, a Hindu temple's windows were broken by rock-throwing vandals. And in Toronto, a Muslim woman reported that she was attacked while on her way to pick up her children, and that two men who beat her called her a terrorist. These are just a few of the incidents. It is likely that these incidents are misguided retaliations by a few malicious individuals for what happened in Paris, but that does not make it acceptable. Such violence has no place in our society. These hateful incidences are completely conflicting to Canadian values. We are, all inclusive, we are an all-inclusive global community. We must accept everyone as equal human beings. The safety of all Ontarians is a collective responsibility of this government, and it is my job as a member of, for Brampton Springdale to raise issues affecting my constituents. I call on our law enforcement agencies to ensure swift action is taken against these per perpetuating violence and ask everyone to remain vig vigilant. Ultimately, whether it happens in Par Paris, Baghdad or Peru, or here in Ontario, an attack that causes terror is a terrorist attack. Such cowardly attacks of violence are affiliated with nothing but their own evil. As Ontarians, as Canadians, we must stand in solidarity in condemning terror, which has no place in our world. I stand with all our brothers and sisters of the Muslim community in condemning these acts. Family, friends, colleagues and neighbours have been affected by violence and vandalism. Let us stand as one in providing support to those deeply affected by these horrific attacks. Thank you.